Yo YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Remix here bringing you guys another video today. We're going to be discussing the radar in Halo 5. Now, first things first, I do believe, strongly I might add, that the radius of your radar is 18 meters, not your diameter. If the radius of your radar was 9 meters, this is how far away someone would have to be for you to be picked up on your radar. That is entirely too close. Now, the exact opposite of that, this here is approximately how far away you would pick someone up on your radar if we kept the radar at 30 meters like it was in the beta. I've got to say that I do think, after looking at these pictures, that 18 meters is, is the right number. Maybe we bump it up to 21, 24, but 30 is just way too far away. Now, let's get to some facts. Now, we found these out by hand testing. So, I'm going to give you guys the three things that make the radar ping you. First, and everybody knows this one, is just movement. If you're walking around, if you're running around, you're going to be picked up on the radar. The second one is gunfire, okay? And lastly is the thruster pack. No surprise there. We all knew those things were going to come up. However, there is a bit of a surprise in what does not show on the radar. So, we all know that when you crouch, you are not picked up on the enemy's radar. However, if you crouch or you stop moving in Halo 5, you disappear from the radar immediately. So if you were to crouch and start walking, the enemy would have no idea in which direction you were traveling. Now the last one, and I find this one really, really crazy. I don't see it being too useful. However, I think in some instances, you could use this to your advantage. As you can see this clip here, my buddy, my pal here is jumping around. And I decide that I'm going to start jumping around as well. Well, if you time it correctly with your jumps, you never show up on the radar. Now, you never travel fast enough to really get anywhere in a hurry. However, you can jump around underneath somebody to evade them and pop around a corner and come up behind them. It's just mind-blowing that they allowed this to happen in the game. Not only do you not show up on the radar when you're jumping, you don't show up on the radar when you're jumping and moving at the same time, so long as you get off the ground quick enough to not take another step. I'm definitely going to be trying to use this jumping tactic to see if there's any viable way in which it can be used. Now that we know for sure what pings on the radar and what does not ping on the radar, let's see if this can help get mine and your KD up just a little bit. That's going to do it for me here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. You know the drill. If you like it, like it. If you love it, subscribe. If you've got something to say, let me know in the comments below. As always, this has been your boy Remix. Peace out.